something very very close to my heart is this sharing about Christ and right now I'm just going to go to a little Hebrew teaching or just something basic in the Hebrew because um, I was taught a bit of the Hebrew language um, so I know minimum little but I love to share what I've got and right now I just want to share like the word Ababa which means the daddy is coming or Aviba my father is coming how, now how precious is that because you know Jesus died on the cross and he's coming to save he saved you on the cross but he's coming back for a bride he's coming back to fetch his elect one day and you know what's so wonderful is the act he did on the cross over Passover he just, just went through Easter and um, you know we had a great time in the presence of the Lord the anointing the atmosphere of the Holy Spirit moving everything you know and just a powerful powerful message we had at church and the anointing was there and if you go back to, to the Bible the whole Bible is truth 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 and right now like I'm just gonna break it up the word well let me get get to this the word Adam Adam which literally means I'm gonna go to it now Adam means man right man Adam ma means soil and dumb means blood so there is a prophecy in Adam's name meaning that mankind will be redeemed by the blood I'm going to just be reading here quickly it says yeah man will be redeemed by the blood Jesus just as biblical times in Old Testament man made blood sacrifices to redeem them from sin man was redeemed by the blood of Jesus once off and never again will there be a slaughter of animals for atonement of sin there will not be atonement of sin so we all know in, in the Old Testament they took sacrifices of, of, of lambs and, and goats and all that stuff and, and, and a peace sacrificing and all that stuff but Jesus made the ultimate and final price on that cross on that cross he thought of you he thought of me God sent his, his son to die on that cross and what I love what, what, what you know God God spoke things into existence God spoke things into existence like for example Genesis 1 verse 26 and says let us make man in our image right and our image who's our God the Father God the Son and God the Holy Spirit so the Father was present Jesus was present the Holy Spirit is present and if you look at Genesis 1 in Hebrew the word Elohim you'll find a few a reference mean Elohim and wherever the M is is plural like in Hebrew if I say Haver is friend Havera is also friend to a female Haver is to a male but if I say Haverim in plural is friends in general so Haverim is friends so if I say Elohim the M is there is speaking about more than one how powerful is that but if you go into Isaiah 55 verse 10 or verse 11 let's go to verse 11 it says here so shall my word that goes forth from my mouth it shall not return to me void but it shall accomplish what I please and it shall prosper in the things for which I sent it so if Genesis 1 verse 26 God says let us make a man in our image God spoke let us make man in our image and he also spoke that so shall my word that goes forth from my mouth it shall not return to me void so you are made to prosper you are made for destiny each one of us was born with a calling a calling that means that from the day you were born that your parents named you 
and that name stays with you into eternity into eternity that you will prosper that means like to me is I've only got saved when I was literally like 20 turning 21 all my life I've I knew I knew about God and all that stuff but I didn't grasp it I didn't have this personal relationship with God so there's a time that you have to accept the Lord Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior and we all got a choice to serve him but once you make that choice automatically his word goes forth you are made to prosper you are not made to go and void you are not made to fail God called the uncalled you don't have to have Okay, certificates and that is, is awesome in, in a job career everything but I've witnessed in where I am today God calls the unqualified and he makes you qualify Moses wasn't qualified a lot of other guys in the Bible was not qualified to, to serve Peter Paul um, who who prosecuted the church you know and until he met the Lord Jesus and he became a disciple so we need to to be obedient to the Word of God and the act of Jesus on the cross it's so important it's so important when I got saved the first the first scriptures I stayed on because literally somebody said stand on scripture you know stand on what the word says and goes and then I stood on the word well the, the scripture Proverbs 16 verse 3 so if it says it's a mature plans to the Lord whatever you do it shows it shows shall it succeed so I did that I've, I've I left everything behind I still had a few nuggets I need to deal with as a child of God I still hope because I just read these a few things I just could not get hold of the flesh is the flesh and in, in the spiritual realm is you know fighting so basically i'm holding on to god but there's fleshy fleshy desires are still there so what happened is i had to let go of this so i stood standing on the word of god you know you never leave me nor forsake me i'm the head and not the tail i go above and not beneath and the scripture says there that that you uphold me with your righteous right hand your ear is not too heavy to not hear my cry. So he hears my cry. He hears my prayer. And eventually, and eventually, it took me three months to leave smoking, to leave a few bad habits. But the day I accept the Lord Jesus Christ into my life, it was, oh, it was heaven. It was an open heaven. The, the glory of God was there. The tangible feeling of the Holy Spirit was there. The first time I got baptized in the Holy Spirit, I had joy. I laughed. I cried. I laughed. I, I, I had this, this, this peace, uncontrollable peace, that nobody. I mean, people ask me, how did it feel to be baptized in the Holy Spirit? Man, I can't. Ex I'm t I can explain to you, but the best is for you to experience the Holy Spirit. The, the, the one that walks with you and beside you, the one that lives in you, the Ruach, the Ruach Akadesh, the Holy Spirit that lives in me and lives in you. Lives in me. So, who we are. So, who am I in Christ? Who am I? I am Christ. So, I'm a child of God, I'm an heir to the kingdom. You are the heir of the kingdom. What do you believe? Yes, yeah. You, the day you accept Lord Jesus Christ, you are being sanctified. When you walk with Jesus, you can, it comes progressive sanctification. Progressive sanctification. Sanctification. Yes, sorry. So it comes to a stage that it's progressive. It means that things are still around you. That God needs to shape, build, and He's going to build you to His image he's creative he's bold he's he's 
image set up so you the declare he's the potter he molds you into his glory he molds you to a stage where you can grow and teach and preach and, and go out there and do the work of the Lord go minister or whatever your calling is to reach out to the lost go help or from to go go give to charity whatever you give shall return to you in the glory of God in the name of Jesus but whatever you do hold on to the things of Jesus and where am I going from because who, like, who who am I who are you and where are you going so once you know who you are in Christ where are you going in one month two months one year five years from now and the rest of your life all I can say is seek first the kingdom of God and all these righteousness and all things will be added to you so to me is at first I don't know where I'm going to be in, 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 in a month two months three months or a year two years after i am accept the Lord Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior but as I seek him man I started saying I want a job from 9 to 5 Monday to Friday I don't want to get out of retail and what happened is eventually <laughs> I am sitting here working not the 9 to 5 job but Monday to Friday weekends off up my salary has climbed and climbed and climbed not the best of tops but to me where I came from it's and it's just more and the presence of God is more in my life where I see God's hand over my life where I've seen healings happen I've seen I've witnessed God's hand over other people we I mean this this I'm gonna tell you this our worship director he just started a like a, a farm that bought a farm and they start planting you know like the sour planting and he started planting a whole lot of things he sells things and 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 or he's going to get to to a, he's got big dreams of 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 selling a retail but at the moment he, he started planting in the garden and what happened is out of the blue something he didn't want plant pitched up i think it's pumpkins he he's never never ever sowed pumpkins in his garden and one time he just said there's there's a pumpkin at, at, at the at the show there i'm going to show you i've got the picture right now but now there was this pumpkin and that's how we sow and we just keep on sowing and god will increase god will give us more and you know, surprises I mean, like something you don't expect when I mean, you didn't expect something else to be growing up you know pumpkins and all that stuff but god was there when angus angus bucken he plant the god said plant potatoes in the drought and all of a sudden there was potatoes you know and like, come on i mean, god can do anything 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 god can heal the broken heart god can heal the broken heart definitely God can do your situation whatever you are facing right now God sees it and I just hope I know I know but that God's got you if you're watching this and you need a breakthrough a breakthrough it can happen it can happen I always said you know, I, I gave a message one time and God just led me to 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 go on um, a platform just just to, to 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 give a word and the word was as 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 god as elijah as elijah spoke to the, to the bones can god said can these dry bones live he said yes now every can your situation you're going through right whatever is bad right can turn around to the good it can happen so these dry bones can have flesh so i'm telling you right now can you can your dreams live can those dry bones live can it be life and 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 your business if you've got to run in a business and that business sounds it looks empty it looks dull it looks like nothing's happening right 
God can supernaturally put life into the business as he put life into Adam, the Ruach spirit, put life into the bones of, of when Elijah looked at, the, at the, these bones and God said, can these bones live? And he said, whatever you do, you, know, you leave me. And he, then God just like supernatural brought life into those bones and brought it together and put flesh around it. And God can put flesh around that business. God can put breath in that business, put breath in that that situation you're facing, that 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 obstacle, that that whatever you're going through right now, I pray that that God will it's a supernatural come through. Don't give up on God. Don't give up. And if you're watching this, and you got suicidal thoughts, Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. He died in that cross for you. For you, for me, and you feel like like in, like a heavy like the wall is just on top of you. I'm telling you now. Jesus paid the price. He paid the price. Well, I don't know what else to say. I just pray that that in the name of Jesus, that that you are. I pray right now in the name of Jesus. That every sin is forgiven, every negativity is it's gone. I pray for God's love, peace, and the Holy Spirit to fill you right now in the name of Jesus. I pray that every every business what's not coping well will cope well in the name of Jesus. I come in agreement for for your your kids, your son. Your daughter, if it's falling away from God, I pray I bring them back to Christ right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Father God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Father God. Bring this son back. I pray, Lord Father God, for unity. Unity among families, Lord Father God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I pray for the Holy Spirit to touch families. I pray for the Holy Spirit to say touch, 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 touch. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Father God. Amen. God bless. See you again.